السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے ایز اے اسٹینڈ ان فرنٹ آف یو آئی فیل آنرڈ آنرڈ بیکاز اٹس می ہو گو نا انٹریکٹ ود یو پیپل بفور موئنگ ٹو دس سیشن لیٹ می آسک یو ون تھنگ ڈو یو نو اباؤٹ دا بیک بون آف فور میجر انڈسٹریز دیٹ از پلاسٹکس الاسٹومرس پینٹس اینڈ وارنشز آلسو فائبرس Do you know about the backbone of these industries? Yes, my dear friends, I am talking about polymerals. Myself Shabir, currently studying Alpha classes in Hanwara. Today, we are going to discuss about polymers. Now, let's see some introduction of the polymers. Polymers are the backbone of the modern civilization. In our day-to-day -day life, polymers are being used. Polymers are used in manufacturing of plastics, packages, packaging toys, surgical equipments, tires, etc. So I write here, manufacturing of plastics, tires, packages, rubbers extra talking about the polymers if we say that polymers have completion completely ruined if we say that polymers have completely ruined our day to day life and in this scenario we are not wrong because in real in fact they have really revolutionize our life and industrial scenario now let's see some important aspects of the chemistry of the polymers firstly definition of the polymers polymer is a basically a greek word which means many units but before going on to this meaning let me tell you the greek word which from which it is derived it is derived from poly and meros as the poly indicates money and meros indicates units or parts basically polymers are large molecules which have high molecular mass kitna hota hai inka mass wahi hum janenge inka jo mass hota hai wo hota hai 10 raised power 3 to 10 raised power 7 u atomic mass unit moreover having high molecular mass they contain same repeating structural units and these same repeating structural units are derived from the simple molecules which are known as monomers since these polymers have high molecular mass that is 10 raised to the power 3 to 10 raised to the power 7 so we called also them as macro molecule so if we try to write the definition of this polymers we can say that polymers are large molecular mass substances which contains same repeating structural units and these simple units which combine together to give polymers are known as monomers i write here the definition of this polymers these are large molecular mass substances which contain same repeating structural units derived from the simple molecules known as monomers and by the process the monomers gets converted into the polymers is known as polymerization now let's see some 
examples of the polymerization example of polymerization hum pehle dekhenge polythene jo ki commonly paya jata hai in our day to day life we have completely surrounded by the polythene polythene ya keh lo ya polyethylene keh lo polyethylene you might you have seen ethene this is your ethene when ethene undergoes the polymerization this bond breaks and one valency of one valency goes to this carbon atom this is your ethene when ethene undergoes the polymerization one valency goes to this carbon atom and another valency goes to the this carbon atom so we can write ethene as this is your ethylene when ethylene basically it is a monomer when number of ethylene about 1000 ethylenes gets combined they form your polyethylene or commonly known as polythene so we can write as an ethylene this your polythene or polyethylene as i earlier said that polymers have large molecular mass so we call them as a macromolecules these two terms are often used without any distinction but strictly speaking polymer contains thousand repeating structural units while as a macromolecule may or may not contain some repeating structural units for example if we take protein protein size ke aitibar se bada hai to hum isko bol sakte hain macro molecule but hum isko polymer nahi kehte kyun hum isko polymer nahi kehte hain kyunki iske paas repeating structural units nahi hote hain same repeating structural units nahi hote hain while as take polythene अभी हमने देखा पॉलीथीन के पास सैम रिपीटिंग स्ट्रक्चर यूनिट्स होते हैं दैट्स वाई पॉलीथीन शुड बी रिगार्ड एज अ बोथ माइक्रोमोलिकुलर पॉलीमर वेल एज टेक पॉलीथीन पॉलीथीन शुड बी रिगार्ड एज अ माइक्रोमोलिक्यूल एंड आल्सो पॉलीमर सो फ्रॉम दीज टू डिफरेंट कंट्रास्ट एग्जाम्पल्स आई कैन से दैट ऑल माइक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स आर नॉट पॉलीमर्स बट ऑल पॉलीमर्स आर माइक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स रिमेंबर ऑल माइक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स आर नॉट पॉलीमर्स बट ऑल पॉलीमर्स आर माइक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स हियर द क्वेश्चन अराइज दैट समाइम्स प्रोटीन इज यूजली कॉल्ड एज अ पॉलीमर दिस इज बिकॉज दैट पोलिथी this is because that protein is made up of alpha amino acids and these alpha amino acids are not if are not made up of same repeating structural units but that repeating structural units are chemically similar so we call them usually as polymers hope you have enjoyed this session फिर अमानुल्ला